the time for every play is multiplayer save six. You guys just uh, do another playthrough of save six. Sure is Got sailing there. All right. Let's send this guy over here. Just gotta find an adversary that I can uh, eagle warrior rush. Oh, there's one ish. All right, let's get astrology. On to the next turn we go. Save that game. So it's just uh, half of my, roughly half of my um, games right now. Uh, I think whatever went, let's see, they went, the ones that go from Dan to me, those are the ones that are done. The ones that go from me to Dave are not done yet. All right, got a little turn. All right, there we go. <coughs> By the time you see this, if you're not just following my um, Civ playlist, and I'm not sure if you can do that in. YouTube. I don't know if you if that's something you could always do or can do or could do, but if it is a thing, um, then you won't know that I've become addicted to Stardew Valley. But if you're just watching my um, my channel as videos go up, then you'll have seen that I'm now addicted to Stardew Valley. Um, Dave wanted to play multiplayer. It was on sale on GOG, so I picked it up. And just like Civ, I just find myself saying, one more day, one more day, one more day. Because, especially in the early game, um, you don't have infinite money. At least I don't. I don't have any mods. And uh, I read a couple things ahead of time that have kept me from making some mistakes. Like not um, threshing all my grass too early. But uh, overall, whoa. I'm not... Uh, What game is this? Oh, this game. Okay. I was like, what the hell's going on here? Alright, let's get some loyalty going. Alright, Archer. Let's see what we gotta do here. Alright. Lost one of my units, right? Yep. Okay, and I lost the unit. Alright. I figured that was gonna happen. Alright, let's see. You can attack nobody, unfortunately. Uh, you attack him. Go here. Attack him. There we go. Alright. Let's move you over here. Let's move you over here. Let's move you. All right. Finally, he sieged up, <coughs> which means I'll not be able to heal his cities back up as I attack him. Although he's finally got some units coming my way, unfortunately. Let's get that guy's turn. All right. Let's attack the city. I'll save my promotion for when he needs to be healed. Alright, head that way. Head here. And there. Alright. You know what? Let's flip and make a city right here. Boom, shakalaka. Now you're in my territory, biatch. Alright, combat strength is melee units. Doing two walls. Uh, let's come over here. Oh no. I have the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> anyway, so on. Um, Start a valley. Uh, in like the course of two or three days, I've done. I think two days. I've done all of spring. I think I have one more day left of spring. So that's how crazy I went. Um, <coughs> to the point where I was 
while I was, um... What the hell is going on, anyways? There you go. Um, while I was s swimming, I just kept thinking of different strategies, and then I was like, alright, so what's the best um, plants to buy? And then I was looking up, okay, these plants produce this amount of gold per day that they're in the ground. <laughs> And, you know, making sure that I get my uh, multi, you know, um, multi multiply picked plants first so that I can make the most use of them before the season's over and use the right fertilizer that makes it go faster. <sighs> it's just like playing Civ or, um, or Stellaris um, because it's, it's like, um, Harvest Moon Plus, you know, it's and which makes it a lot more complicated. So it's Harvest Moon uh, meets Torchlight meets Minecraft um, meets a fishing game. I mean, it's, oh, I guess Harvest Moon had fishing, but it's just it's a dating sim. Well, Harvest Moon was too, but still, it's still you know Torchlight and Minecraft as well, which is kind of interesting. And you've got a lot more flexibility in how you lay out your land, uh, whereas Harvest Moon you had all the buildings already, I think, if I remember correctly, and then you would have them fixed or repaired or whatever. <laughs> At least in the version that I played. A strong economy right, begins to workforce. And we've got a trader. Let's go to LA. Why can't I go to LA? Oh, maybe I did. Huh, that's odd. Oh, I've already got one going to LA, maybe? I'm not sure. Alright, let's see. Paris. Give us more gold, uh, but here we get plus on our building of things, which is pretty awesome. All right, um, recreation probably could have done with philosophy, but that's okay. All right, one more, which is my Samaria game. One where Dave was a Chinese and then he chickened out. From humble beginnings, you have shown remark. So, anyway, that's Stardew Valley. Really, like, yeah, Stardew Valley. Um, I think, unlike Harvest Moon, there's no end to it, although officially there's like two years worth of content. So, like, after the year two. There's no more of certain things, but I think you can keep playing forever. I'm not sure. Which I wonder if that ends up being one of those weird things where it's like, it's year 100, but you still look the same. I'm sure some there are memes and stuff about that online, if that is true. Harvest Moon, I think, would end after four years, which never seemed like enough. Though my wife did um, end up, when we were in college and we were first playing it, um, like min maxing it to where she was always producing like S milk and all that stuff. And she got to the point where she's like, all right, I unlocked everything. This is boring now. All right. So this guy's kind of surrounded, which I don't like because they'll probably arrow him to death, which shouldn't be the case because war carts are the best. All right, let's just freaking declare war. Surprise war. Surprise. I must. Alright, you can be all righteous all you want, biatch. Alright, you attack. Alright, huh, that was weird. I thought that would certainly take him out. Uh, minus. Oh, he's got a. Wait, I've got a flanking bonus. Interesting. But he's got home base advantage and stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. For uh, Teddy. Alright, let's see. You go here. You go here. I said go here. You go here. Oh, he's flanked already. I mean, under siege already. Awesome. You go here. 
Hmm. Darn. The lettuce at war with me now, too. I wasn't counting on that. I mean, it is their closest, uh, you know, dude, but still. Oh, well. It's not gonna it's gonna be a tougher war than I thought it would be. That's okay. It's more fun this way. Whose turn is it? Your turn. Oh. But. This is not a concern anymore. Start taking out his city. Oh, where's my guy? Oh, there's the guy with the siege engine. Gotta get him closer. Where's he going? You go here next turn. Alright. Save the game. And there we go. This has been Eric playing Super 6 Multiplayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.